Okay, hands-on challenge. So what we are going to do is basically what we just did on this trail, but we are just going to do it as another app. Basically, we are going to do exactly what we did with a different name. We are going to create a package and name it module tracker and then create an object module modules and then install that in our playground and that's pretty much it okay first things first i'm going to go to my development management org my pde or actually zone dev so this is my development management I'm going to go to my, in my uh, environment hub and I'm going to launch my zone dev one here with my single sign on. I'm going to launch my zone dev one and we are going to create the package here on my zone dev one. So this is a partner development org. So in order for you to do this challenge you would need to already have your own partner development org so create that from partners.salesforce.org just follow the steps for from my previous videos and you should have one and you can do this challenge okay so let's create a new object create custom object and it's supposed to be module and the plural modules so module modules all right and i'm going to leave everything as it is it is deployed and launch a tab for it save and new oh not save and new my bad we just um we should hit save there module I'm just gonna choose one. Let's make it a desk next. And well, sure, why not? Next, I'm not gonna add to these tabs. I'm going to add to my modules tab. Save. So we just created a module custom object, right? Next, I'm going to create the app itself through the app manager and what should we name the app module tracker i'm going to copy that a new lightning app module tracker we don't need to add anything just default and the default as well over here and we are not going to add fancy utility bar and i'm going to add my module here next let's add it to everybody so everybody can use this module app and we have that and if i go to my object manager you should see <clears throat> the namespace is taken place son dev one this is my namespace right and then module C. So now we need to package this up. We've created the app. Now we are going to package it up. Package manager, a new one. Do we need to name it a certain? Let's just name it module tracker app. As the package, I mean, right? And then the language is English and just, um, oh, we can only create one manage package, right? That's a limitation. One org can only create one manage package. That's why this is grayed out, right? So we have already created this one. Therefore, I can't use this same org um, to, this is actually a good learning for you to remember. You can create another manage package. You have to 
create a new org for that. Okay, I'm gonna create a new org for that purpose then. And yeah, let's do that. So I'm not gonna cut the video because I need you to see this. So I'm gonna create a new org here, create another org, and name it Sound Dev 1. No, Sound Dev 2. Okay, development. And then it's a partner developer. I'm gonna name this Sound Dev 2. Okay. Sound Dev 2. Sound Dev 2. I have read at sound.io and create. So it's going to take a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until Sound Dev 2 is ready and then basically recreate this whole um, module tracker app and the custom object on Sound Dev 2. I don't need to show you that again. And then we're going to package it together on Sound Dev 2, not Sound Dev 1. Because Sound Dev 1 has already one package and one org, one developer org can only have one managed package. So we can't have two of them, all right? So, all right, so I'm just going to pause and I'll see you in a few seconds. <laughs> okay, so Sound Dev 1 is already having a trail app so we can't use we cannot use this to add another manage app so i'm going to close this so i've created zone dev 2 now which is still empty or not managing any package so let's add this module tracker app and then it's going to be manage yes only one manage app per org per, per developer org okay save that and I'm going to add the module tracker app, module tracker app and all its dependencies add to package. And now you see all the dependencies is added as well. So now you just upload that. It takes a few seconds. Um, let's name this spring 2020 as well. I'm just going to type it. So it's going to be manage beta, release URL, nothing, post install instruction, nothing. I'm not going to password it. So there is no other, no other additional requirements and I'm just going to upload it. So we will have a URL and then I'm going to install that on our Trailhead Playground. I'm going to copy that or even just click this, right? Just click this on a new tab and I'm going to go to my resource for raccoon there okay okay so let's install for all users I acknowledge and hit install Installing and granting access to all users takes a few seconds. Let's see the few components there. Installation complete. Good. So now we should have a module tracker here. Module Tracker app. And there you have it. We got modules and you can create new modules on this simple app. So, um, we did install it onto our developer beginner trailhead playground. So, I'm going to actually check challenge to earn 500 points. And then, what is the next one here? Test an app exchange app. Okay, that should be easy. So I'll see you in the next video. Bada bing. Bada boom. Whoa. Could not find a managed package installed in the org with an app.
name. Oh my god, tracker. Oh no. We should have named the app module tracker and not module tracker app. My bad. So I'm going to modify that. All right. So if I go to app manager here, And then module tracker app. I shouldn't be adding the word app there. So I'm going to edit that guy. So it's just supposed to be module tracker like that. Okay. I'm going to save that. Right. And then back. Go to packages. Pay careful attention then when we are creating packages for Trailhead. Or actually, I'm just going to upload this again. I'm going to upload this again. I'm going to add fix there and I'm going to upload that again. We will have a new URL to install. And in the meantime, I am going to go back to my Trailhead Playground and uninstall that. I'm going to go to my setup. installed packages and I'm going to uninstall my module tracker app yes do not save a copy I'm just going to uninstall that so now we don't have the module tracker app now we need to wait more I'm gonna close that so this is the new installation URL, right? And it takes a few moments for this new one. So it's beta 2 and the version name is Spring 2020 Fixed because I change the, if I go here, the module app, oh, not there. I mean, if I go here, app manager, the module tracker should just be a module tracker and not module tracker app the module tracker right so developer name is module tracker which is good so now if i go to packages there I'm going to install this onto the resourceful raccoon. Okay, so install it for the second time. It's a good learning path that you know that that can happen. So installing and granting access to all users and then we are going to make sure it's installed and the name is module tracker without the app in the end so that's installed okay installation complete and i want to double check if i go to my app manager which is actually here this is my trailhead playground right the resourceful raccoon i just want to make sure we don't have the app in the end of the module tracker it's supposed to be just module tracker without the app module tracker there module tracker all right so that looks good okay now let's get the 500 points and i will see you on the next video for real now <laughs> bada bing bada boom 
hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.